This video provides a brief introduction on how to use the JTA4 sleeve insertion tool for assembling the Super 300 type pillar fitting P series and connections. Before assembling the fitting, please avoid introducing foreign substances such as dust, oil, and other particles. This is critical to maintaining the highest level of cleanliness. The JTA4 tool consists of three subcomponents. The JTA4 package includes holders for tubes and sleeves for various sizes. For any particular size, the technician would need to prepare a corresponding size of the sleeve, tube, fitting, and the spanner for tightening the union nut. Now we will explain how to assemble the Super 300 type pillar fitting. First, attach the sleeve holder to the insertion tool. Next, place the sleeve over the sleeve holder. Check to make sure that the sleeve is firmly in place. The diameter expansion ring is located at the tip of the sleeve holder. It is important to push the diameter expansion far back of the sleeve holder until it is secured and not loose. Next, position a tube into the tube holder and secure the clamp on the insertion tool. Make sure that the other side of the tube has the union nut placed on the tube. Pull the lever on the tube clamp to engage the hook. This is necessary to lock the clamp. Lowering the lever far down locks the clamp. This is the minimum length of the tube in the insertion. Be sure to position the tube according to the minimum length guideline. The set screw on the sleeve holder is adjustable according to various size sleeves. Loosen the set screw and slide the insertion tool body until the leading edge of the diameter expansion ring is 1 to 3 millimeters inside the end of the tube and then tighten the set screws. If the insertion tool is not secured on a work table, grab the tube hold section so that it will not slide during the sleeve insertion and slowly insert the sleeve into the tube. The sleeve is fully inserted when the edge of the sleeve is inserted near the edge of the tube. There may be a gap between the edge of the tube and the sleeve should be as shown here. As long as at least half of the sleeve is inserted into the tube, there should not be a problem. Now the tube with an inserted sleeve can be assembled into the fitting and tighten the union nut. Tighten the union nut by hand as much as possible before tighten it with a correct size wrench until an audible click is heard from the gauge ring in the fitting. This sound indicates that the union nut is sufficiently tightened. To disassemble the fitting, first fully detach the union nut from the fitting. Turn the tube in a circular motion until it can be pulled out of the fitting. The insertion tool also allows an assembly in a short tube. Set the sleeve holder for short tube in the tube clamp. Position the sleeve on the sleeve holder and secure the sleeve with a diameter expansion ring as above. Loosen the set screw and slide the insertion tool body until the leading edge of the diameter expansion ring is 1 to 3 millimeters inside the tube and then tighten the set screws. Make sure the union nut is on the tube. Then, you simply need to grab the handle on this arbor press and stroke the tool and insert the sleeve into the piece of tubing. The sleeve is fully inserted when the tube reaches the shoulder of the sleeve.